What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Atomic Heart video and uh, I do think I'm going to make it, make this into a series, I'm going to try, but um, we're going to see, uh, this is going to be part 2, so um, hope you guys enjoy. Last time on Atomic Heart, Ooh. we encounter this gigantic robotic worm, Grave Digger. We meet Dr. Larissa. We also meet the guy that supposedly saved us, uh, but uh, I, I doubt that. Then out of nowhere, this handsome devil came and started chaos, even turning one of my LS into toast. Just look at this thing, handsome on the outside, but disgusting on the inside. Only to find out that this was the first boss fight. It took all my strength, but I managed to defeat it. Along this journey, we also meet this weird, perverted fridge, Nora. She manhandled me pretty good. But this is where we can upgrade our abilities and weapons. She's also a freak. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. This is part two to Atomic Heart. Ah, uh, we don't need that. Eventually they killed them all, but we're gonna try again. Oh, we got that, we got that. Oh my gosh, dude. Just die off already. There we go, got that guy. We're gonna try and interrogate this. Oh, what? Bro! There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Oh my gosh! You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby <laughs> you don't say Ooh. Saving data. save it Buzz. oh heck yeah okay well, now we got some health We're gonna keep up. holy shit it shouldn't have taken that many tries honestly there's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Oh, uh, did it take me a year to guess the combo? Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. There it is. Wait, what? Neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't That's say it? exactly. What? Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes... I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Fuck. No ticket. A talking corpse. We are ready to depart. Ten. 
desk. Got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. There we go. Oh my god, man. Try to climb these. Right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals and even crack. Oh! Are you sick? You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. <laughs> Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barabs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. The mechanics at least remind me of Dying Light. But... Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Huh. 
Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh huh. Like I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. Mike, he wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you? All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Your defense system is active. Okay, hold on. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy... That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word be... operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. Ooh. There's a man coming for you. Guy. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such enough, guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go down. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. A source called the candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Bro! Oh, bro, bro. There we go. Oh my god. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. Loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Ah! Oh. Yeah. 
sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov oh, alive. Oh, these are Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out that's actually good for us dude if i could if i could Explain it in terms you can understand. What? The economy no. of consequences. I mean, lots of books. That's pretty this cool, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like jello. <laughs> Looks like hair chair. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. No, it's not. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade I'm major. Like I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Well, what do we have here? Alright, so at this point we had to find three containers to fill up this weird looking face robotic thing. I don't know what it was, but it was weird enough. But we had to find and we ended up getting a new weapon as well. And it was it's gonna be really helpful along this journey. Now I'm not too sure. I, I believe the weapon recharges with energy. Uh unless I have to I, I really don't know. I think it does recharge or I need to find energy for it to recharge, but it's really useful, so that's the only way I can get out. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's out. Oh. I didn't even see that. Okay. Obviously, the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe's quantum asshole. Does this stuff happen to everyone, or just me? Oh, now you have to give it to her. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I've got one. Oh, okay. Yep, give him the plant. I've got another one. It needs life. It needs life? Yeah, without life, what the fuck's the point? You are now serving the Lunar Memorial, <laughs> so a symbol weird. of the Soviet lunar program. 
the USSR's first major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission. That is so weird. Manufactured so, by Facility 3826 okay, Specialist, so the Soviet spacecraft game. successfully landed right. in the uh, lunar yeah. done. mission. Done. I think it worked. To the future colonization yeah. of the oil samples from locations oh, yeah. where the oh. first lunar cities are soon to be arrived. How do you like that, gearhead? Oh my gosh, this is so weak. <laughs> Bro, what is that? <laughs> like, this, Ooh, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over I, it. I only seen these type of robots. I haven't seen any, like all the type of robots yet, but... So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Oh, Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Bro, what is that? Bro, what the? Dude, that is so. This is a weak weapon I have. Crispy Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Distance from them, they shoot lasers. Oh my! What the? Oh. Okay, so we finally made it to a safe room where we can finally create this blueprint I found called Fox, I believe. Look at this masterpiece. All, right, all I know is this is better than the axe I have. It's gonna be a whole lot faster as well. Lightweight. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah.
I know you're here, Petrov. Oh, you You've got nowhere to run. To we... I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Oh, I think he's dead. Will they give you a bomb? Oh yeah, there it is. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. That's the guy we were chasing up there. <laughs> he's dead. I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on it? <laughs> Two gold heck? rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, P3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Yes, there we go. I don't, know, I, I don't know how I did that, but... We did it. No, Joseph. You did it. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special power to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Oh, heck yeah. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, I've been recording for a while now, but um, next video, oh my gosh. Oh.